Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Maurice Lyle was born in Delaware in 1823. It was described as a young machinist who acquired the Natchez foundry and gin factory in 1845. The foundry was regarded as one of the most complete establishments of its type in the Southwest. The foundry employed 25 to 30 laborers and produced steam engines, sawmills, draining machines, iron screws for cotton presses, and gear for gins, grist mills, and sawmills. Lyle also performed considerable repair work on steamboats during the slack season. In the early 1850s, the Natchez foundry operated three forges and 11 lakes and annually consumed 250 tons of pig iron from Peaksburg and 3,000 barrels of coal. In the late 1850s, Lyle expanded his business to include the installation of gas pipes for residences and business and produce cistern covers and gutter grates that are still coming in Natchez. In 1858, Lyle sold his business and devoted his time and attention to the profession of gas fitter. Maurice Lyle built an imposing house in Natchez, today known as the Shields Townhouse. My name is Vincent Carter. I'm a freshman at Adams County Christian School, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.